gave us this gift of his word. His words are contained in the Bible. Psalms 12 verse 6. The, Lord's, the words of the Lord are pure words. John 6 verse 63. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and are life. Amen. 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 God offers us this gift, the forgiveness of sins. Acts 10, verse 43. Of him all the prophets bear witness, that through him, that through his name, everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins. Amen. The gift of being saved means the gift of peace in your hearts. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as they would get they would give do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not let it be fearful. The gift of being saved means the gift of freedom. Romans 8 verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. Galatians 5 verse 1. It is for freedom that Christ set us free. The gift of the gift of being served means the gift of joy-filled living. Romans 5 verse 17. How much more will the how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and the and the gift of righteousness reign in life through through the one man Jesus Christ? John 15 verse 11. I have told you this so that so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. And God's greatest gift to us is love. God gave us the gift of his only son. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. The gift of being saved means a gift of protection and eternal life in heaven. He who was born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. That is 1 John 5, 18. Uh, Romans 5, 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, and Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. What can I give our most gracious Lord? I come with empty hands. All that I have is what God provides me. All that I give is my thankful praises. Hebrews 3, 15. Through him then let us continuously offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that gives thanks to his name. Amen. Amen. What can I give our most gracious Lord? I come with empty hands. All that I have is what God provides me. All that I can give are my talents who are serving. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 7. Each man has his own gift from God. One has this gift, another another has that. Peter chapter 4 verse 10. 
Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in his various forms. Amen. What can I give for our most gracious Lord? I come with empty hands. All that I have is what God provides me. All that I give is my heart, my willingness to obey. For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has not, according to what one does not have. Amen. 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 You have another another something that you memorized throughout the week. Come, stand up here. And uh, let's see the good way. She was so faithful. She knew her lines. Whereas everybody of us were trying to read, Mariana, you did a wonderful job. So I'd like you to do not what you read, what we gave you to read, but what you memorized at home. God gave us his words, and his words are found in the Bible. Amen. Amen. That is good. And we are now going to uh, to uh, to eat. So uh, when uh, Sister Grace with uh, Sister 